What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel everyone and welcome back to a very beautiful sunny Florida. Oh my Finally. Gosh. Feels so good out guys. It's amazing. Yes, the sun's out. This is what we wait for all year round here There's in Florida. There's not a single cloud in the entire sky right now. That's how nice it it's is. It's a beautiful winter. <laughs> this is your sign. If you have the chance, come yes. to Florida right now in this these the time. months before all the humidity, all the hurricanes, yeah, right? all the craziness comes. Yep. This is why winter spring is perfect here. We are taking advantage why we can to come into the beautiful sunshine. I know. And you guys, we have been waiting to share something really special with all of you. <laughs> and of course, it has to deal with adventure, fun, yeah. go go gadget, whatever you, know. you want to call it. You know. <laughs> we are super excited to show you. So we've actually had this bike for a few months now. Yeah. We've been testing it out. We've been like thoroughly testing it out. As you guys know, we love our outdoor adventure things. We love our scooters. We love our bikes. We love our water scooters. <laughs> yes. We have tons of family that comes and visits us. We love exploring Florida. And what yes. better way to explore Oh, baby. Bike. And not only a bike, you guys, this is a very special e-bike. Yes, so this video is actually sponsored by Van Powers, which is the maker of this bike right here. And this bike is awesome. We have put it to the test. Literally to the test. Another electric bike and electric scooters. And this thing I is know, incredible. It's it's awesome. If you guys have been following our channel for a while, you know how much we love electric bikes. We ride them in New York. We ride them like when we go anywhere if yes. we can and we can travel out. Well, they just make it way more like adventurous and fun and it's easy. It's a fun way to see yeah. like the sights of the city and everything. Speaking of city, you guys, this is actually Vampire's Urban Glide model. And it is pretty cool if I just say <laughs> I mean, I am not the bike expert. Jared is. He's looked into all the whistles of this thing. Yeah. I'm really into function, comfort, obviously looks well. well yeah it does look really really pretty the one thing that we liked about this one for both of us is that it has the step through so usually like bikes have like a little bar that go right here yes and it, this one does not this so it makes it really easy to get on and off and the color in this one we chose this kind of dark gray color so it's not black but it's not white exactly so yeah really pretty color which i love i know also you guys the seat on this thing that is something huge for me because if you're sitting on a bike for a long time you know you can have a sore behind <laughs> but this seat if you can tell very cushioned it's super comfortable yes you can actually raise and lower it which is awesome right here it also has the awesome cargo rack which is perfect in case you want to attach anything to it to tote things around you know we have our little puppy thinners so we could put him in here in a basket it holds up to 55 pounds safety is obviously a huge thing for me especially when you're talking about bikes and at night and things like yeah. that so one thing that really stuck out to me is the back brake when you press on the brakes it actually blinks and it's a big light that is very very noticeable even in the day which I yeah love. yeah you can see it really well we also have the front headlight and reflector which is awesome the other thing that I've really been testing out you guys is the suspension on this the ride on it is so smooth yeah like <laughs> glide. I see why it's called the urban glider because you really just feel it's such a smooth ride because sometimes I know with a lot of bikes you're changing gears it kind of like jerks you yeah exactly you right this is super seamless and that's because it's got some thick shocks right here so these are like a lot of travel right there so it makes it for a very smooth I feel like i can be going off jumps <laughs> and bumps and curves yeah and the secondary thing is that it's actually a mid-drive motor so it's a buffing m600 for those who are wondering but it's a mid-drive motor so it actually gives you a little bit more balance a little bit more stability which is nice which is definitely something i need on bikes <laughs> because i do not have the best balance i am taller i'm 510 and i just don't have the best balance so that definitely helps out i feel stable which is super yeah. important to me especially when you're on busy roads and things like that to feel safe and comfortable seriously with whatever you're riding and a few other features we want to highlight is the large 3.5 inch bright lcd anti-glare screen which is super important especially if you're in a sunny place because there's nothing worse than like looking down and being like oh what does that say yeah, things exactly. like that so this <laughs> definitely helps so alongside that you guys your gears are over here and i love it because if you want to go up in gears, you just press this button here as you're going. If you want to go down, you just click it into down. But the best part about any electric bike is obviously <laughs> throttle assistance. So this has so much juice to it. <laughs> you, Which is torque for anyone not torque, yeah, okay. wondering. <laughs> yes, torque to it. So basically, I mean, we'll show you this when we're riding, but you just press down on this and it just kicks in with the pedal assist. Yeah, And it's crazy I mean, you don't even have to pedal if you don't want to with electric bikes, but <laughs> if you wanted, I like a combination of both most yeah. of the time. But this thing, I mean, it's got some pickup, I will say, whether <laughs> you live in a place with hills, anything like that, we've been testing this out. Another huge thing for me, I have pretty small hands. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm holding onto handlebars, they hurt my hands. 
but these, the grip on them is awesome. It's like this non-slip grip, which is great, obviously, if it's like raining or weather. Even just for comfort level, it is awesome. And also, kind of just the design, it's just really comfy on my hands. a new location you guys. <laughs> that is the beauty of electric bikes like yeah. you can just get places so quick yeah and, way faster and way faster I and we've been testing this thing out like crazy with like the different type of terrains so we got grass we got mulch we got gravel we got sand I mean, you should have seen jared jared rode on the way over here and he was like going off the sidewalks on the yeah. grass on the like, it was cool mulch and everything i mean i could take you down these rocks <laughs> across the water thing. with all that torque I mean, look at me, you guys. I'm basically turning into Mrs. Go Go Gadget. Yeah, Go Go Gadget! Yeah. Also, you guys, the battery on this is actually right here so you can either plug it in with the battery inside the bike it looks really sleek too which i love yeah it's contained really well right here or you can actually remove this out yeah and charge it somewhere because <laughs> i know that sometimes annoying like bringing your bike over to where an outlet is so you can yep. just remove the entire battery out go plug it in charge i know it up. But the thing is, it's like I feel like we like almost never have to charge this thing because it has up to 70 miles of range. Yeah, That's incredible. 70 miles. So we <laughs> that can go. Is nuts. That's actually one thing we want to do. We actually want yeah. to go on like a really far bike ride out towards the Everglades. You guys, let us know if you'd like to see that. I think that'd be kind of fun. And we could do that with yeah. us, which is going to be really, yeah. really awesome. Obviously, we could take scooters, but that just yeah. doesn't feel as safe as like being on a bike and everything. Exactly like that. right. If you've been kind of looking into an e-bike, you guys, we've had a few e-bikes over the years. This one is awesome. Yeah. It's probably like mid-range price range. Anyways, I highly recommend this one. It's been awesome. If you guys are interested, we will put a link for Van Powers down below. You can go check out their website. They have a ton of different yeah, tons of models, different ones. Yeah. Just to kind of fit what you're looking for. We obviously love sharing our favorite finds with you guys. And I just have to say, these are so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> back home now and she and I have actually been talking about something for a while now it's been like the last I want to say like the last few months honestly because yeah. we've been reading a lot of your guys's comments and tons and tons and tons of you guys are saying that we should do more reviews and so like today was kind of an example of us doing like a little bit more in-depth review I guess you could say but we have done a ton of reviews in the past on other products I feel like we have a very broad audience we really do <laughs> a lot of you guys love our Costco videos a lot of you guys love like our travel cruise videos yeah a lot of you love just the day in and day out day in my life videos a lot yep. of you love infertility videos like exactly have a big like big family variety you could say yes. but a ton of you guys have been commenting too that you love reviews and yeah. you share things and that's like for, something that like yeah makes us super excited because i feel like we can get creative with it we love testing out new things yeah we're doing it anyway so why yeah. not just like share it with you as well yeah it's like one for example like this projector right here we use that thing like crazy Crazy. We absolutely love it, and that's yeah. just something we just shared. And just like our everyday things, even like my cute little yeah. toaster right yeah. here. Yeah, that little toaster, that's another thing we and <laughs> shared I, and loved. And I feel like Jared and I have a unique, I don't want to say talent, but like... <laughs> <laughs> you just bragging a little bit? I'm not bragging, <laughs> but I'm saying we love like getting our perspective from like my perspective as yeah. a woman and Jared's as a man and like just the different perspectives. Yeah, that's a good point. That's fair. And I haven't really seen a lot of people on YouTube do that where it's like a husband and a wife, they're giving their perspectives. Yeah. And people just been chatting like that's kind of fun. I know. And we start doing that more, not just only with like products, but also like 
with traveling. Yeah, travel. Stuff. A lot of you guys love yeah. our Dominican Republic videos. So like for instance, like when we went to the DR and we shared about that all-inclusive resort and yeah. like what we truly like thought of it, so many of you guys were searching for that and wanting to get like ideas for like, travel and things like that. And yeah. Stuff like that that's awesome because we're doing it anyways. Yeah. So we might as well have fun with it. It's a new creative outlet for us as you know, we're videoing every day. Yeah, so this is what we're kind of thinking, been discussing again. We've been t discussing this for like the last like five or six months. It's been a while. Yeah. So we know that you guys love reviews. Like I would say a vast majority of you guys actually like reviews. Now, as far as like in-depth reviews, we don't know. We're not really sure, but we do know that like, there's definitely like an audience there for it within our own current audience. Now, we're actually discussing whether or not we should do these reviews on our current channel, or if we should just start a completely new channel that's just dedicated for reviewing stuff. Like it can be home, lifestyle, travel, or just yeah. like a review channel from both perspectives. Exactly. Where we're giving our honest opinions on things. For example, when it comes to like a bike or like a projector or just like anything that's like kind of like a higher ticket item, like in my opinion, for a guy, I would actually like to know more stuff about it. Like I actually would like to know more features about it, the benefits of it, and you know, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. The bike, for example, Brittany, she absolutely loves that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when you're making big purchases, I feel like we ourselves are always going to YouTube, looking at reviews, yeah. like doing our research. So I don't know, it could be kind of a cool new thing for us. Obviously, we're going through infertility stuff right now. There's a lot of that stuff we're not sharing currently. And yeah. I feel like it's like a good little avenue that we can. That's another thing too, yeah. To. Yeah, when we have like stuff that we can like kind of have a little bit more fun with, I guess you could say, yes. like it makes us a little bit more, you know, looking forward to the day. Yes, uh, for sure. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think. Like, would you like, if it's on a different channel, so we just keep it separate and who's ever interested just goes over yeah. there. And we're not saying this is replacing our vlogging by No, YouTube. no, no, no. This would be in addition. So if yeah. you guys like want more, this is what we're talking so maybe about. Maybe like we put out, you know, a couple of videos a week. If yeah. Not, or maybe start with like one video a week every Monday. Yeah. Our review video. Yeah. With J and B or <laughs> yeah. Thinking of channels. We, we've been thinking of channels. And yeah. we have some fun with it. I don't want to share them yet. I'm actually curious. We'd love to hear any of your ideas. Because think yes. of what if you guys came up with the channel name? That would be amazing, actually. That would yeah. be kind of cool. So husband wife reviewing anything and everything. Tell us your thoughts. Yeah. And again, this does not replace our current channel. This would be in addition to, so we'd actually be putting out more content, doing a little bit more work. But it should be something like new, exciting, and fun. Yes, yes. So let us know all the thoughts down below, you guys. We love you guys, obviously. You're the ones that are here supporting us, tuning into our channel every day. So we want to know what you think. Yeah, we about really that. highly respect what you guys think. <laughs> <laughs> also, you may be wondering, what am I making right now? So you guys, we've been making this is avocado toast. Mm -hmm. And I will say it kind of stinks right now because I just opened the eggs. <laughs> so these are the pre boiled eggs from Costco. If you guys have never seen them before, I they are amazing. They literally we got two big boxes of them. We're almost done with such one. Such a time saver. They come in a little pack of four like yeah. this. So usually we'll just eat one like together, two and two. I, I was actually thinking about this. Like, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but like the fact that you don't have to boil them, you don't have to peel them yourself. It's already like pre packaged, ready to go. You can oh. take it anywhere. Like, that's so convenient. And you can use it That's for so nice. So many I mean, you see, look, we're already yeah. this was full. Yeah. We're already through them. We I know. We use every day with different things. So one of the ways I love to use them is with avocado toast because it's just like more protein I can add really quick. We love the sourdough bread. You can use any sourdough. You can use any bread you want. Whole wheat, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Some Trader Joe's. It does go bad faster, so I feel like we try and eat it every day at least. Yeah. <laughs> dinners, this is what we're mm -hmm. doing. Like we're just having avocado toast and yeah. um, turkey bacon. Super that sounds simple. amazing. Ooh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our toast nice and toasty. So here is the magic, you guys. So I actually start off with some cottage cheese, more protein, and I like the creaminess factor of it. If you don't mm -hmm. like cottage cheese, obviously don't put it on. You could also use like a cream cheese as well. But you know, just like a little bit of a creaminess factor. And then I put on, so our avocado. Now the key to this, you guys, what I found is I you have to salt and pepper your avocado. I love the lemon with it. It kind of just brightens it. So make sure it tastes good before you're putting it on your toast or else you're not gonna like it. Salt and pepper to my eggs too. <laughs> but then literally I just put my eggs on here. And you guys, I'm telling you, it is it so really good. Also, tomatoes really good on here if you like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it's just all spilling over, but I will scoop this up and eat it because it's so good. But then the key is everything bagel seasoning. Oh yeah. It just gives it this more flavor from just whatever's in this. <laughs> yeah, just very flavorful for a bite. I know, you can even put some hot honey on here if you like kind of a little, like, little spicy or some like jalapenos, whatever. But mm -hmm. look at that. That is like the ultimate avocado toast, high yeah. protein, Super filling. Good. Like we eat this probably almost every day. Yeah, variation of I know, it's and it's so easy to make. So there's a little idea for you. That's also another thing we were talking about. Like we can even review food. I know we were yeah. talking about reviewing like Costco items and stuff like that. So yeah. On that channel too. Even so, like restaurants. So many people hit us up about like what restaurants we'd recommend out here. And there's like tons, especially with like Taco Craft. We love that place. We go there all the time. You guys, you haven't seen our finners today. Yeah. I had to put him, bring him up here. He was at my feet cooking. So here's our little finners, you guys. But anyways, hopefully that's just an idea we're throwing out there. We're excited yeah. about it. Like we're actually said, really excited about it. Let us know your we thoughts. We want your guys' opinion. Yes, we yeah. love your guys' opinion. And a good name if you like it. Yeah. yeah. I know, if we pick one of the names, we were doing like a big yeah. prize for that. Yeah. For sure, <laughs> for sure. But you guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Make sure you come back tomorrow. We have some really exciting things going on this upcoming yeah. week. It is gonna be crazy. And yeah. we're so excited to share all of that with you. So buckle up. And with that, we'll see you all next see time. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.